It's no secret, Detroit has a serious crime problem, and it's had one for many years. But tonight, we're getting a closer look at how bad it is. Four of the ten most dangerous neighborhoods in America are right here in the D. And tonight, Charlie O'Duff visits the most dangerous of them all on the city's west side. The most violent neighborhood in Detroit. In America. In America. I'm serious. <laughs> It's not surprising that Detroit, America's most violent city, would have the country's most violent neighborhood. But Detroit is also home to America's second, third, and seventh most violent neighborhoods as well. According to a new study by NeighborhoodScout.com, a person living in these neighborhoods has worse than a 1 in 10 chance of being robbed at gunpoint, beaten senseless, raped, or murdered. This shocked even us. So my partner Matt Phillips and I took a drive to the west side, to the exact center of the most violent neighborhood of them all, on American Street. How old are you? I'm 21. How old do you expect to live? <laughs> Till I'm at least 90 or 100, <laughs> at least. But I ain't no telling. We wake up every day. You never know when it's your time to go. What's your dream, right? Well, my dream, I really want to play professional baseball. I was, I was doing that at one point in time. Yeah. It's a typical type of Detroit neighborhood, the kind not included in the downtown talks of money and real estate and rebirth. Here it goes, church, liquor store, church, liquor store. Looking around, it's hard to know which has had the greater influence. My grandson could have been dead twice, but, but for the money, just for the help of the Lord, because you know what? Nobody was there to save him. We just heard a bunch of gunshots the same car, and that was it. And that's when I found out the person I knew got killed. When I seen that happen, it messed me up. Then, then as I got older, I was just started to understand. I mean, I understand why it happened, but I started to just not really, you know, I wouldn't even say not really care, but just just understand what happened, basically. The bottom line is, here these single parents are trying to raise these kids. These kids don't have anybody at home but television, and they're running loose. We didn't do that kind of stuff. Our parents were parents. The parents of today, they just aren't the same as ours. And I think that's when lies the real problem. And you're not enough uncles in blue to clean up the mess. Exactly. They won't let us be uncles like we used to think. Well, like I had an uncle in blue. He wouldn't allow. He would kick my you-know-what. <laughs> that's to the fact that they really care or not, honestly. Like, if they really care to, to solve the crime. Because there's so many unsolved crimes in each other. It's ridiculous. And it keep going. It's just a cycle. It just keep going on and on and on and on. It has to do with the freeway coming through your neighborhood. It has to go with this. I don't know where the nearest school is from here. There's no schools anymore. People started losing their homes. People started losing hope. People didn't have anywhere to go, you know? Your options are very limited. You can leave and try to have a future, or you can stay, and you're rolling the dice, and there's a dice. cousins living in this thing called America and when we're gone they'll talk about us and what we were whether you lived on American Street or the Avenue of the Americas it's up to us about what they'll say Detroit is where my heart is like, my heart is in Detroit so I, I grew up in this city I, I know this city well I ain't saying I'm going to be here for the rest of my life but at this point in time I'm here and I'm done with it In Detroit, Charlie Duff, Fox 2 News. Uh, to paraphrase Charles Dickens, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times, and that's what we find ourselves here 
within Detroit right now. We've got a downtown that is on the verge of something big and wonderful and incredible, but we have neighborhoods that are still suffering and are dealing with crime and despair. But the one thread that somehow we must connect is hope and faith in a better day. And somehow I think that's coming. And bring those neighborhoods so that they feel like they're part of the city. Somehow, yeah. some way? Absolutely. And bring those neighborhoods so that they feel like they're part of the city. Somehow, yeah. some way? Absolutely. According to NeighborhoodScout.com, the most dangerous neighborhoods fall into these zip codes, 48204, 48205, and 48207. We want to know what you think. You can sound off with your opinion on Charlie's story on Facebook, Twitter, or, of course, MyFoxDetroit.com. We always want to hear from you.